I was walking down Bowery, um, just walking my dog like any normal day after work. We were walking just across town to go into Soho. This guy just comes up out of nowhere and, you know, didn't say anything, doesn't even look at me. He just, you know, rears back and kicks Mika as hard as he can in the face, like sends her flying. And she maybe stands six or seven inches off the ground. She just started squealing and crying, going crazy. I didn't know if she was injured. You know, I was like in between wanting to chase the guy down and wanting to see if my dog was okay. And, and then actually a group of guys were able to apprehend the guy and catch him and chase him down and hold him until the cops came. And as we're waiting for the police to show up, from across the street, you know, Alec Baldwin just gets out of his car and he comes over. Um, and he's, you know, really concerned with what's going on. He's like, what happened? And, you know, he visibly, you know, gets angry and upset. And, you know, he tells him, he was like, you messed up, man. Like, you're going to jail. He's like, you don't do stuff like that. <laughs> you know, done some community outreach, try to let everybody know around the neighborhood that there is this person just still walking around because the cops didn't take him to jail. You know, so just be careful if you have a dog walking around, you know, Bowery and Stanton Street. They assess my dog by just basically looking at her and they said that she's not critically injured enough, she's not, you know, bleeding profusely, and they can't take him in, they can't press any charges because she wasn't critically injured in the incident. But they don't know if she has, like, internal bleeding, if, like, a lung was punctured, if her rib was broken. Even the vet said that if she had trauma to her brain from being kicked in the face by a, a full-grown man, I think it's just, you know, not for them to make that call. This is Mika. <laughs> Hi, Mika. Hi, Mika. How are you feeling today? Mika feels... She feels better than yesterday, but she's she's tough. She's a tough dog. You know? you know, I'm hoping to change, one, just the awareness and having the public know that people who commit crimes like this should be held accountable, but also that police officers should be held accountable to do their part, too. I know that you know, things go on every day and, you know, people are dying, people are getting shot, and, but at the same time, you know, no crime should be considered lower than the other. I think they should all be held the same as far as accountability for the person that commits the crime.